someone needs to clean my office. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, hello, and welcome if you are new. These types of videos pop up on my channel Thursdays and Sundays. So if you like what you see, hit the like and subscribe button. And you can continue watching more of these if you want. Because I have a playlist. Not only just for, like, eyeshadows, but also for ColourPop. Because, <sighs> so this wasn't planned. But, like, I fell in love with ColourPop. <laughs> and like I'm pretty sure they make up at least a third if not half of my makeup collection right now they they do it so well and we're gonna try out some things again today I got this little cutie patootie in my boxy charm once upon a time I want to say and she's been sitting in a drawer in the very back I thought it was just an empty box because normally I take my palettes out of the box but no look how cute this is she's sitting in the box in the back of my little mini makeup drawer and I realized I've never touched this before here she is beautiful amazing pretty and hold on let me just open it up Ugh. We have a mirror, and then we have adorable colors, and look how cute these are. They're very nice. One, two, three, four, five. Very cute, very nice. And of course, it's Bambi. So I figured we should give it a try. This is the Bambi Pressed Powder Palette. Do you have a name? Is it just called Bambi? Because that would be adorable. Then again, these colors really do. Mm, so cute these yeah like when you see these colors you definitely think of Bambi very cute there's little April shower ball line young prince kind of bashful and white fall white tail I should probably wear my glasses but um we're gonna be doing my eyeshadow today with this little cutie so let's just jump into it I already primed my eyes with the mmm Beauty crop stuck on you, little pot. What are you? Eye primer? So far, that's like my fave. As usual, there's not really any kind of specific direction for this. I'm just going to come in with the colors that I feel are going to go well in places and go from there. I have no doubt that this formula is going to be great because all of ColourPop's formulas are great, amazing. I have yet to have any issues with them. I just, I don't think I've ever used such a pretty yellow before, or gold, I should say, right? Did you guys end up picking this palette up, or the collection, the whole Bambi collection? I did not. This popped up in one of my boxes, but cute. Let's try it. Let's get into it. I'll come in, I'll do Young Prince, and I'll do it kind of like my transition shade. I feel like it would be really good for. So let's do that. Oh yeah, look at all that color it just comes right off. <laughs> and I love that. It did come in pretty heavy at first, but I went ahead and buffed it out a bit. Now to the other side. Yay. Okay. That's nice. Then I want to do some darker color. Let me bring in. Mm, I feel like you're a little bit too big. Do I have a smaller flat fat flat fat brush? <laughs> um, yeah. Somewhere over the rainbow. All right. We'll come in with this smaller, you're not as flat as I want you to be. Well, that's still fine, but. I think I have a thing for big flat brushes. And it's not my fault. That's just who I am as a person. Okay, so I'll come in with this smaller fat flat brush. Some billion dollar brows 
and I'm gonna use kind of bashful I like that they have the shade names on here too so I can clearly identify to others what I'm using and I just kind of go in with the tip a little tippity top not a whole lot because I know the pigments there and then come in and do this part what I'll do is I'll maybe do like half of it with this color with this shade then what I'm gonna do even though you don't necessarily have to do this because you're going into a darker color I have my little brush cleaner dry makeup brush cleaner I love these I have like four on my desk swoobity swoobity in there color's gone so then I will come into white tail this pretty shade here all sparkly like and this one I will dab a little because it's so dark and I'm gonna kind of create like a little not wing but a whooshy effect does that make sense no we're coming outside of the lid with this one and bringing it onto the lid and I'll just do little dots outside and bring it back down and I'll take it over about a third of the lid right next to the lash line that's it that's all it needs And this one, take it slow. Go slow, steady, pack it on little by little. Because what you have, you cannot take away. I mean, you can buff it out, but that'll be really difficult. And we don't want to do that. Ready? Okay, there we go. Very nice. Nothing major, just a little depth added towards the end of the eye. And I'm going to come in, same shade, white tail, dab, 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 dip, top, other side. Same thing. We're going to start out off the lid and then dot it down to the lid. And I angle it up kind of like going towards the end of my eyebrow. And then... Good job. All right. Nice. We're about the same. Nice. Nice. I think this looks lovely. Do I want it darker? Always. Does it necessarily need to be? No, because we're just coming in and adding a smidge bit of depth to what's already there. And again, dry cleaning my brush real quick. Because what I want to do next is I want to come into Little April Shower. And I want to start over here in my inner corner. Ooh, wow. That's a lot golder than it actually looks in the pan. It looks very, like beige but on my brush it looks super gold so we'll come in with that um and i'm going to drag it across the inner to about half of my lid Ooh, we're gold Ooh. yeah we're we're very um yellowy it doesn't look like that much in the pan i think it's because there's green around it but other side hmm okie dokie better better I like it hmm and now for this one, fall line, I kind of don't even want to add it to my look because I feel like this is just beautiful as is. But you can always use a little bit more shimmer. I do love the mattes. They work well together. 
let's hmm I'm not 100% sure let's see how it applies let me just we'll probably come in with the same brush actually let me see how she applies okay Ooh. okay so after testing on the back of my hand um <laughs> I'm gonna come in with fall line just a smidge and I'm gonna take it over the first third of my eye start from the inner corner here we go and this one I'm gonna bring up and off of my lid more onto the bone I like my dramatic splash of color I do same thing for the other side Ooh, it's a little too much okay hmm. actually that's kind of cute I don't mind a little splash of color Yeah, I came back with a gentle, just a little bit more. Splash some color right there because that looks beautiful. I like it. And real quick, I want to come in on my bottom line of my eye with probably a mix between Young Prince and Kind of Bashful. Just like a smidge of each. All right, I came in with some mascara from AOA Studio. At first, I didn't like this mascara. I thought it was absolute garbage, <laughs> like lack of a better word. Did not like it at all. Um, but after, I don't know, trying it over and over again, maybe it's just getting it more dry of a formula. I find I like it. It gives it a very natural, like subtle, chill kind of look for my lashes. So I reach for this quite often. Especially for something like this where it's just like, you know, so calm and relaxing kind of look. I love it. I think it's beautiful. The colors, of course, are amazing color pop per use. I mean, it's just it's so cute. It's so cute. Do I feel like Bambi? Mm, kind of. Not even going to lie. Like, especially holding this like right up to my face here. Kind of. I kind of do. I like it though. Did you guys end up picking up this collection? I think I already asked, but let me know in the comments down below. I'm probably going to go take a ton of selfies with this on because I really love this. It's very, I don't know, like natural nudesy and I have that pop of like gold that just, mm. I'm rambling though, so I will catch you next time. Remember, hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoy what you see. And yeah, bye.